Hello, my name is I King Skies, and we are back with another video. So yesterday on SmackDown Live, Sasha Banks finally got her first ever title defense. And then out of nowhere, we seen Carmella attack her <laughs> while Corey Graves was dueling at the announce table. But it obviously created a feud between the two, and I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit because I personally think this feud has a lot and lots of potential. So without further ado, my name is I King Skies, and play my intro. I am the stone in the building. So what I wanted to talk about was how this feud can be really, really good. I personally think it has the potential to be a, a, a wonders of a feud, especially for it being Sasha Banks' first ever really feud after a title reign. I mean, I mean, for a title reign, I mean, she had that one title reign that ended early. She never had a good feud that came in the result of winning and we all know Sasha Banks is going to win and I personally love this decision because you grab Carmella someone that's not really she's she's in mid-tier she's in mid-tier she's not really above average and she's not really below average but she's in mid-tier she has a title reign it was really good title reign with her and uh, James Ellsworth uh, really one of the best uh she was one of the best hills in the company at that point so what I'm trying to say is Carmella is definitely not uh, a bad choice to go with uh to losing to Sasha Banks because she can actually make it seem like she is going to win she it could go no it's not I'm not saying it could go either way. We all know Sasha's going to win, but from the viewer's eyes, if you don't know WWE is fake, then Carmella is probably a good opponent. Now, Carmella has a good mouthpiece. And wow, I know. Ooh, pause. She, Carmella has a she has good promo skills. Corey Graves is looking at me really suspicious, but she has very good promo skills, is what I meant. She can talk her ass off and she can do promos just like that one night where she was with James Ellsworth and she was hearing a lot of critics she basically she shit on them. she shit on them niggas that think that told her that um they don't like the way she won the money in the bank and you know like the way she cashed it in she shit it on all of them niggas anyway Carmella has some good promo skills and so does Sasha otherwise like I don't really like the way she how Sasha how Sasha talks like she talks like very cringe worthy i don't i don't know but i think i think a lot of you guys know what i'm talking about like she does that little that little that little attitude talk i don't i don't know it is very hard to explain but you guys know what i'm talking about so um but she does she sasha does have good mic skills too and they can cut some beautiful promos together and not to mention carmella isn't a bad wrestler either Carmella can match it. Carmella can wrestle her ass off if, if she really wanted to. And we all know Sasha can wrestle her ass off as well. So who knows? I mean, I don't really like um, it that they're going with it right now because of Survivor Series. I think, I personally think, I should make a video about this. I personally think Survivor Series is just, is just pointless. It's pointless to me. It is completely pointless to me what you're facing the champions you're burying your own champion whether who wins it doesn't make any sense survivor series should be should be something like last year if you're going to use it for something like last year to bring nxt up then you you, you have it like that but otherwise take the pay-per-view away please it's not helping unless you have like wwe versus the authority or something like that like something like that it should have been retribution this year it should have been retribution versus wwe but we all know where that way anyway i'm getting off um topic sasha banks has a good mouthpiece um 
and Carmella has some good promo skills. So I'm saying the promos should be beautiful between them and they can also wrestle their ass off. And we talk about Carmella having the spotlight and stuff. She's never really wrestled a person that can take her to the next level. I think she's had matches with those type of superstars on like uh, SmackDown and Raw, but she's never had those type of chances, like pay-per-view matches with top tier stars. Not, I don't think she's had a match with Charlotte Flair. If, if she did, she definitely lost the belt, but I don't think she lost the belt to Charlotte Flair. I can't even really remember her reign, to be honest. But um, all I know is she cashed it in. She cashed it in on Charlotte Flair, so she had to be Charlotte. Yeah, she cashed it in on Charlotte. So she had to be Charlotte. Anyway, um, she's never really had a match. She's never really had a pay-per-view match with Asuka. She's never really had a pay-per-view match with Bayley. You know, people who can carry her, not carry her, but like elevate that match. She's never really had a match with Sasha. She's never really had. So I personally think if they have enough time, this could be match of the night. I'm, I'm telling you right now, either that or the New Day and Street Profits get get match of the night. Somewhere, somewhere, either those two matches, because Jesus Christ, man. The, Carmella and Sasha Banks can tear the house down if they had the time. And especially if it's in... Oh, no, no, no. Why, am I, why did I say New Day are the Street Profits? Because that, that Survivor Series is not... They're not going to be fighting the Survivor Series. Sasha Banks and Asuka is going to be fighting the Survivor Series. But what I'm trying to say is they can have they can have that match, the match of the night, on... Uh, what's the next pay-per-view? I don't know. Probably, is it Warrior Rumble? I think so. So, um, yeah. Carmella versus Sasha Banks could be very, very, very good. Anyway, my name is I King Skies. I just wanted to talk about that. I'm about to wrap this thing up. My name is I King Skies. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Watching.